today to talk to you about staging your home and getting it ready for photos. So the importance of your photos is that it's people's very first impression of your home when they're looking online. So I'm going to help you guys prepare your home today uh, so that your photos turn out fantastic. So number one is decluttering your home and cleaning absolutely every surface that you can get your hands on. Um, it's really important that all your kitchen countertops are free and clear of all small appliances, uh, dirt, grime, um, pretty much everything. Uh, things that can stay are something like a bowl full of lemons, something that's fresh and you know inviting to your home. Um, next, you're going to work on staging your home. Now, this means removing all large, bulky furniture, um, things that um, can take away from the size of the room um, or things that are very personal. So styles of furniture that are very personal, um, those all need to be removed. Um, things that can go in its place or things that can stay are, let's say in your living room, a couch with a couple of chairs across from it and maybe a coffee table in the middle. Keep it simple. Simple is really important. Um, another thing you want to keep in mind is try to keep your furniture off the walls. Um, so uh, once again, the importance of decluttering. There's a couple of things with that. So first of all, people don't want to see um, your junk lying all over your house. They want to walk in to a nice, clean and inviting space. Um, second reason why decluttering is really important is like I had talked about before, um, large furniture or lots of furniture or lots of little things in a room can really take away from the beauty of the house itself. So uh, I'm going to show you guys some pictures of some things that are really great uh, in staging and some things uh, where people could have worked on it a little bit harder. So the first picture I'm going to show you, if it would open for me, first picture is this kitchen. This is a beautiful kitchen. These people staged their house fantastic. They cleaned um, all the surfaces off, but they left just enough to make the house inviting. Um, i.e. the shelves with just a few things on it. It not only looks clean, but it also gives the space a little bit of style. Um, next picture for you is the outside of this house. As you can see, the lawn is nicely cut. Uh, they have edged the grass, which is a kind of funny, but kind of important thing. Um, it just makes the house look nice and manicured on the outside. Um, they've got a few bushes, nothing too crazy, but just enough to give the house that extra little bit of curb appeal, if you will. Um, and there's no cars in the driveway and there's no garbage cans out in the front of the house. Those are two really important things as well. Um, you don't want garbage cans or cars in front of your house when the photographer comes and takes all your pictures of it. All right, so here is some things uh, that you do not want to leave in your house. Um, I eat all the boxes that you can see above the <clears throat> kitchen cabinets here and um, all of this pottery. So these things are things that are personal. Those are personal elements. So you may absolutely love them and think that they add a lot of character to your kitchen, but the next person coming in may look at that and say, oh man, all I can see is that up there. I am having a hard time seeing the rest of the kitchen. So and boxes, um, you know, of course, we don't want to see those up there either. Um, then on their kitchen counters, so the appliances need to be removed. Uh, these items over here need to be removed. The coffee pot and um, the little pods, those could stay because those are that little extra touch that makes the house feel homey, okay? And let's see, okay, so this kitchen, I noticed in it, um, First thing I notice in it is all the pots and pans hanging from the ceiling. It just feels a little bit too much. And then they've got all of their oils over here. And then we've got all these things on the shelf up here. So the basic gist of this kitchen is it it's at the beginning stage of something really, really great. They just need to take away about 75% of it. And then this kitchen would look fantastic. Um, and the last picture I'm going to show you, simple, basic, nothing in the driveway especially if the front of your house doesn't have a ton of curb appeal, you really want to just have it be nice and clean. Um, with this trailer in the driveway, we can't even actually see the front of the house in this picture. So um, no cars, no garbage cans, uh, no trailers. 
um, in the driveway. So these are all just recommendations. Once again, these are not things that you absolutely have to do to get your home sold, but we feel they are things that are really important and that will help you get the most value out of your pictures and the most value out of getting your home sold. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to call us at our office anytime, email us, um, and we'll help you uh, figure out exactly what you need to take away and what you need to leave. So take care and have a great day.